<laughs> you know, wow. All of their money. So what do you sell? You have to think differently. And it's really now about building your relationships with your super fans and then providing value for them and creating a whole different kind of an experience when they come to your shows. And now with technology being able to change the game, because we've had three major drivers. This is really important for people to understand. The three things that have happened that have been running parallel for quite a few years, which is bandwidth, storage, and horsepower. In other words, the power of these you know, supercomputers that are sitting in your hand. They've now all of a sudden hitting stride at the same time. Storage price has dropped down to virtually nothing. I remember buying my first, um, uh, 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 you know, uh, hard drive and it, I bought, it was two gig, it was a two gig hard drive and it was 800 bucks. Now, the other day I bought six terabytes for $300. That's a that's so, a that's a better value. I tell you that. And of course, with uh, the laptop I've had, it's just like you know, you know, I'm I'm kind of like an affordable guy. It's like I insist on so many terabytes at this price. So now it's just like instead of gigabytes or kilobytes and and whatever else, it's like terabytes is a big thing. And of course, what's the next best th- best thing in terms of bytes? Was was it going to be like um you know super bytes or something or uh, well, no, ultimate bytes or what is it? <laughs> yeah, so. I mean the storage problem has gone away, right? Because we've got a way to manage the storage. So that happened is happening right now dramatically again the bandwidth we're now getting ready to go into 5g which is going to be a big deal right that's going to be like real time and that changes the game in a big big way even more than we have right now and then uh, the other is just the, the power of these phones in your hand and so several of the things that are going to be happening that are going to be big is we now know intelligence is being built into everything they're putting intelligence in into cement into furniture into uh you know uh, uh the uh, uh you know refrigerators and toasters it's the internet of things so everything is going to be uh, tracked and being able to uh, have intelligence so we're moving into that the whole world of ai and then the big the big one that's coming which is blockchain and the blockchain is probably one of the most important uh i believe one of the most important uh, 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 uh revolutionary things to happen since the industrial revolution mm-hmm. it's mind-boggling now the question to those people out there know ah, the blockchain will it sustain because of the technology it's not so much about whether it's called the blockchain but the idea of a distributed ledger and what that means for the planet and what that's going to do to change things is really dramatic. So we're seeing a massive ramp up in technology right now that's basically changing the way everybody does business, how things are being done. But it also gives way more power to the person that has this device because, you know, you're holding in your hand a full blown broadcast studio. Mm-hmm. You buy an iPhone, you got a broadcast studio, you got production engine, you can go. I mean, just what you can do with iMovie or you look at GarageBand, you look at all these things and these are on a handheld mobile device that you're you're putting in your pocket and traveling around with so the ability to reach your audience on a global basis create create stuff get it out there it's it's happening and you know again if there's any artist out there listening to the show i mean get yourself educated and it's based on this thing that i teach it's called space story plan army conversion education as an artist, you got to have a great story. And it isn't, I, I live in Cincinnati. I r- grew up playing guitar and stuff. No. What do you stand for? What purpose are you here for? What problem are you solving? You have to think like a startup company and create something of value. Because once you have that information and you know what that is, you can take those phrases, words of your story, and you can go out and find your audience now. So you can target and find the exact audience and be able to get them into your fold. Plan. you got to have a plan. You can't sit there and just make music and hope it's going to happen. you got to put a strategy together and now use lean startup principles for that. And that's all about, uh, uh, I suggest, go look up uh, the lean startup. And there's books out there on that. And there's a site called leanstack.com. And that's where you can go t- do a thing called the Lean Canvas, which is a one-page business plan. And that whole process, go learn, watch the videos there, learn how that works, build plan. And the important part of your plan is to figure out what you're not going to do. Because the idea of Lean Startup is the idea of what's the smallest thing I can do that I can execute on that's going to give me the biggest bang for my buck, 
right? And I guarantee you that's not go out and make an album and then go try to sell that album. Mm -hmm. You can't sell albums anymore. So you got to figure out what that is. Then the army is figuring out who your super fans are and the people around you and, and getting them involved in your business to help you spread the word. So there's a whole super fan play. And then the C is the big one is the conversion. So it's, it's story plant army conversion and conversion is I have fans, but is this a business or a hobby for me? If it's a business, those fans are customers. How do I convert those fans into paying customers? And that's all based on learning about conversion funnels and understanding how to create value. And then E in my equation is education because all those things I named above, if you're not going to school every day, and I mean like getting online, following the, the thought leaders, reading their blog posts, studying what's going on, you can't do any of it. And you'll miss the boat. <laughs> so this is, like <laughs> I said, the incredible time for artists, but you have to get educated and you have to stay up to speed on what's going on. That is amazing. Wow. And I'll tell you something. I think I'm going to go to leanstack.com and check it out. You could also take um, online classes for free. And there's a lot of um, you know courses out there you can just take for free. You don't have to school to school, pay $100,000 to get a four-year education. You can also learn pretty much online. Just take a, a simple course, a refresher course, or anything like that just to get up to speed. That is so amazing what can be Absolutely. done on a laptop or even the palm of your uh, hand, like your smartphone, your um android yep. iphone and everything else and um yep. and of course you know i i talked to a lot of people on my uh, phone as well too and uh, talking to you great people as well and it's just amazing how things have gone in such a short period of time oh yeah and now you're looking at ai artificial intelligence coming on it's about to get really wild mm -hmm. <laughs> yes that's right and of course i thought about as well too like you're talking about like intelligent toasters intelligent refrigerators yep. and i thought about intellitoast intellifridge Intellivac or like yep. IntelliCoffee or say um, Intella Heart Monitors, IntelliDesks, IntelliStairs, Intella Washers, Intella Dryers, Intella Pets. It's like, you know, what is next? I mean, that's all I could say about this. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what you're talking about. It's called IoT, Internet of Things, and that's where we're going. Everything's getting connected now. Everything. Yes, that's right, too. And, of course, we'll talk about some of your companies as well, too. We haven't touched on that. You're listening to The Mike Wagner Show at the themikewagnershow.com. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking a budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention The Mike Wagner Show. Get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show is brought to you by Evan Fine of the Senior Reserve Group. When you start a business or own a business for a while, who you going to call for sole proprietorship insurance? Why not call the expert, Evan Fine of Senior Reserve Group. He also specializes in Medicare and long-term care insurance. Evan can be reached at 1-800-650-9357. That's 1-800-650-9357. Or Evan Fine at SeniorReserveGroup.com. Licensed in seven states in New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, Delaware, South Carolina, and Florida. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the MikeWagnerShow.com. Also, check our Facebook page, Facebook.com slash Mike Wagner Show. You can also download and listen on SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio, and watch the interview on YouTube as well. We're here with media entrepreneur, musician, songwriter, producer, and um, CEO of many companies. We just um, talked about some of the biggest ones and uh, also play with Pink Floyd, Super Tramp, Toto, and more. And also did some uh, ventures with Quincy Jones and um, also with um, Janet Jackson and uh, many, many more. And he also did some uh, other projects. But first, um, leading up to the... Uh, think experience he just started um you know following uh ignited network uh, you also got into new media broadcasting company back in yep. 2004 and uh yep. you can uh, tell us a little bit about that well yeah new media broadcasting we basically it was uh, we built a product called mashcast and mashcast was imagine it's 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 mobile device but it's where people can collaborate because the collaboration i think is a big is a big next, I mean, it's a big area that's starting to happen. We can now connect online. So MASH, New NBC built MASHcast, and MASHcast uh, allowed you to imagine on your phone, uh, you have a, a, a like an instant messaging program, like your, uh, your, your instant message, but you were able to create content in real time with people all over the world. Mm-hmm. So I could add something, somebody else could add something. We could actually create content and then publish it out. So it was a mobile messaging company with a built-in 
editor, you know, content creation tool set. And so that's what that's what New NBC did. And then we merged that kind of into uh, uh, did a, some of that stuff into other businesses. So we use that same technology from those other ones, right? That is amazing. You also have uh, Toto and uh, Monty Python's, um, you know, a couple of your clients, almost like deja vu in a way. So <laughs> Yeah, so part of MASHCAST and what we were doing is, is we were building this, what I was talking about, a direct-to-consumer business model for these artists. So we launched with Monty Python, Python Line which was all things Monty Python. And it was actually interesting because that was in the area where I started really learning about the power of, of your army. And an example is, is when we started Python online, and this will be good for any of the artists out there thinking about, you know, this whole idea of bringing other people in to help. We launched a program where I said, I need, I'm looking for uh, Photoshop, guys uh video editors uh bloggers storytellers all python fanatics so we found them and they became my army and when we did a major pro uh, like a major um uh, campaign uh for monty python for well the one of them we did was for the life of brian mm -hmm. which was the uh their remake of that movie we created a whole campaign where we needed we wanted people to take and put brian into famous photographs and you had little kits you could download and put it with you could put them in your spaghetti and take a picture of it and upload it. Oh my and gosh. so I got my I got the army to basically handle that. And with the army, the Python army, we got like, you know, five to ten thousand pieces of content and it was free. Didn't cost us anything. Oh my so gosh. I, I, I enlisted the entire army to create all the content and the value to them was I created opportunities for them to talk with the pythons and to, uh, you know, get posters signed and things like that. So with the artist today, if you think of those terms, you create up some value, but you, there's a lot of people that care about you and care about what it is. Find those super fans. You'll be amazed on how much they'll come to help you. So that was what we did with the Monty Python series. So we built Python line. Uh, and so, I, like I said, I've been in the tech space for quite a while, and especially in this kind of uh, communications and uh, you know, two ways and sort of marketing and growth hacking and, you know, all those kinds of things. That is amazing, I, I guess. And now for something completely different takes on a go. different meeting. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I was going to ask you about Monty Python as well, too. What was it like working with um, John Cleese, Eric Idle and uh, the whole gang? Um, it's I mean, it's really fascinating. I mean, they're, you know. It's amazing. That's like probably the Beatles of comedy, right? There, <laughs> every comedian looks up to Monty Python and does all that. But Eric Idle is probably he's one of the funniest guys. I mean, he's amazing. Uh, you know, Terry Gilliam, who just blows me away as a director. Um, you know, he's been awesome. So I mean, I got to work with all those guys and record them when we did. You know, we I did three uh, uh, number one selling Monty Python game titles. We did Complete Waste of Time, which was our 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 biggest one and then we did the uh the holy grail and uh, also the uh the the signs of uh, not signs of life but um what is it uh, oh i can't think of it the I meaning of life gonna... the meaning of life there yes that's Thank it one much. of my favorite movies along with the holy grail and life of brian those yeah. were hilarious <laughs> yeah so it was a lot of fun working with them because i worked very closely with them when we did those titles because i was producing all of those and uh you know just great guys and you know very 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 uh very funny and very, uh, you know, interesting people to be around for sure. One of the most interesting as well, too. And of course, you know, it, the fun just doesn't stop there. You went on to launch Direct to Care in 2011, an online healthcare presence management company. <laughs> you just uh, yeah. tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, Get Your OPI was really a the idea of take, you know, today on the internet, there is, you know, if you're a business, what happens is, uh, was this direct to care or get your OPI? I it's a, it's um it, well, well first uh, it direct to care and then uh, okay, we can uh, just segue over yeah. to uh, get your OPI. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, direct to care because they kind of came they moved from one to the other. Direct to care was an online presence management company for help for healthcare providers. You know because of Yelp and all of these things and the, the fact is there's all these different uh, sites where your name and your phone number and all that stuff goes up. There's no way to manage that. And if somebody gives you a bad re you know, review on Yelp, it can really hurt your business. Right. So the whole idea was building a presence management system that kind of monitors for healthcare providers uh, their, their presence online uh, all over the internet and so that they could manage that. And if there was any bad reviews, they could reach out uh, and to make sure that their, their data and everything was correct across all the sites and everything across the internet. So that's what direct to care did. Uh, and then, 
OPI was taking that whole idea of that online presence. Instead of just doing it for doctors, we did it for everybody. So you as a business would go sign up an account, hit a button, and it'd bring back all this data and reporting on what people are saying about your business, uh, any bad reviews, all that kind of stuff so that you could manage that and make sure your presence online wasn't just getting trolled.